Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you guys today? Nice, nice. Nice, nice. All right, nice, so nice. Can I do please. I just need to finish something here. Okay. Okay, how's everybody? Let's see, Daniel, how are you? You're at work today? Yes, teacher, this is my last night. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Manuel, how was your day today? ¿Qué le pasó, Manuelito? No le escucho, Manuelito. Me está contando todo su día, por ahí. I'm tired. Today, I... I was I was to be a trainer oh. and it's very, it's difficult for for the people for the people don't understand different situation okay. about the the new love. Ah okay. So you were training today? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was to be a trainer. Yo estuve dando el entrenamiento, yo estuve dando la capacitación. Ah, so you were the trainer. Ah, okay. Okay, ah, oh, all right. Hello, oh, teacher. Hi. All right. And many people? And many people, uh, Manuel, in the training? Yeah, are many people in the training. Different people is a is, uh, public public employers yes all right public employee mm -hmm. is the new lab the new lab is uh, man management trash management of trash yes management of trash yeah <laughs> it's different um uh, no sería and then through poco tiempo Dentro de más o menos un año, vamos a tener que entregar la basura de ya a diferente forma. Entonces, yo estoy dando a conocer esa ley. Oh, Manuel, very nice. For everybody? Yeah, thank you. Okay, very nice. Interesting, very good. Okay, so we have every, well, a lot of people now. Mariano, Daniel, Walter, Ever, Carlita, Gaby, Doris, Claudia, Debbie, Roberto. Trini and Jorgito and Johnny, of course. Very good. Igual, los que van entrando y pueden ir encendiendo sus camaritas. Thank you. Yo sé que hay algunos que están todavía laborando por ahí. All right, and that's okay. Ya veo a Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hoy no la voy a... No voy a hacer que no la quieran ahora, Debbie. Hoy no será usted. <laughs> Hoy será Gaby. Ajá, uh -huh, Gaby. No, I'm kidding, Gaby. No, I'm <laughs> All right, guys. Very good. So... Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about uh, training manuals, all right, and the idea of why we need a training manual, all right, and that is to make the employee feel better, be better for the customers, all right? Just give me a second, guys. So that's why we need a training manual, all right, and then we... We, we did two activities yesterday. Activity number one was about... All right, activity number one was about the training manual that we have in the book. All right, and we were supposed to put it in the right order. And and tell why, why did we choose that? And activity number two, we created our own training manual. Y en eso nos quedábamos ayer, all right? Hello, teacher. Hi, Roberto. Uh, uh, sorry, teacher, uh, now I'm going uh, driving. And, 
and I can put my, my camera. Okay, that's okay, Roberto. No se preocupe. All right, thank okay. you for letting me know. Thank you, Roberto. All right, so let's talk a, a little bit about that. I'm going to take attendance right now. All right, para que ya nos quedemos terminando las, las presentaciones que nos quedaron en pausa ayer. Acuérdese que son dos. All right, let's see here. Adela Trinidad González. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Uh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, thank you. Thank you. Baby Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jorgito, lo vi por ahí, ok. Present, present teacher. Yes, Jorge, thank you. All right, José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. All right, Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Ok, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Thank you. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Vanessa Noemí. Ok. Hold on. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Okay. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Din, ah, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. ¿Dónde está Doris? Ajá. Present. Ya quita, ya quita. <laughs> Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys. Very good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share. Teacher. Yes, Roberto, no se preocupe, ya lo puse en la lista. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Siga manejando. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, guys, sorry. I'm going to share my screen with you right now here. Para ubicarnos en la que nos, eh, nos hacía falta ayer. Teníamos, this is server training manual. All right. Aquí teníamos los pasos, pero no estaban en orden. All right. All right. You were supposed to put them in order. All right. ¿Quiénes me faltaron ayer? Para presentar eso que habían puesto en orden y explicarnos el por qué. Ahora, esa actividad vamos a hacer ahorita para terminar eso. Debbie, ¿por qué se ríe? Usted es la primera, Debbie, ¿verdad? El que se ríe solo es su maldad. ¿Se acuerda de mi mami? <risa> All right. A ver, permítame, Debbie. Vamos a ver. Aquí tengo los grupos. No se preocupen. A ver, Carlos and Gaby, did you present the first activity yesterday, Carlos and Gaby? No, la primera, Gaby. No, no, but I'm not sure if Carlos is here. No, Carlos is not in. And you don't have it? Uh, no, just him. Well, I have the order, but we he wrote the the no. uh, the meaning. He wrote Excuse the me? slide. Yes. Okay. I can explain it. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, Gabi, go okay. ahead. Now? Yes, please, yes, let's begin. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, first of all, uh, we put 
prevention of accident and safety because it's important to always uh, be prepared for unfortunate events like a robbery or or an accident even if it's a employee or a customer the second one we put uh, addressing customer because we always have to be kind with the customer in order they want to come back again and refer people um, after that addressing kitchen personnel we have to keep a good work environment to always provide a good service uh, after that setting a table it's important to have to know how to order the the table how to put things correctly to um para que el cliente se sienta más confortable con su servicio um getting to know the menu to um provide a fast and efficient service the canteen wine eh, eso no lo pusimos pero eh, Um, the canteen wine should be like um, always. Um, no, eso sí no la sé. Eso me la voy a soltar. Um, after that, following the schedule, it's important because the customers always are looking for food. So if just in case they are hungry, they eat, and if they want to eat our food, so we have to be prepared for that. And if we said, if we say uh, we open at eight, at eight, the food should be ready to eat. After that dressing go, um, it's important because we are like the imagine of the restaurant and the, or the or the place. Um, about tips and taxes, we have to if we receive tips, we have to uh, know the proper way to ask for it. No, de una manera agresiva. We have to be kind about it, about that, and request a chief a chief change. Um, we have to do it kind to always keep a good work environment, and that's all. Very good, Gabby. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Now, acuérdese, uh, y lo oí ahorita y ayer también lo oía cuando decimos somos como la imagen del restaurante o de X lugar o de la oficina, en todo caso, es we are the image, all right? Image, porque imagine es imaginar, pero imagen es image, tal cual. All right, very good. Yes, thank you, Gaby. That was very nice. And you did it by yourself. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Gab. Let's see. Um, le estamos dando tiempo, Miss, Miss Debbie. All right. Uh, veamos de aquí. Carlita y Bismarck si lo presentaron ayer. No están ninguna ahorita, pero sí lo presentaron. Daniela. No, Lenia. teacher, no lo presentamos ayer nosotros. ¿El, el primer ejercicio, Carlita? No. Ah, pues dele, Carlita, yo aquí estoy todo oído. I'm all ears. Ajá. Pero es que Bismarck eh, no tenía, pero no lo veo por acá. Sí, no, no ha entrado. Y sí, no ha entrado. No lo tiene usted para compartirlo, Carlita. No sé, porque como él lo estaba haciendo en la computadora. A ver, si gusta, esperemos tal vez entre un ratito, en un ratito, y si no, eh, ya vamos a solventar, no se preocupe. Ok. All right, thank you. Let's see. What about Daniela and Leti? Did you finish yesterday, Daniela and Leti? I think so. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We finished yesterday. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, Leti, ya entró. Hi, Leti. <laughs> ya entró, Leti. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. All right, very good. Vamos a ver. Jorge and Victoria, el primer ejercicio. Victoria, Jorgito. Jorge creo que va manejando. No sé si Victoria está por ahí. Sí, pero no puedo compartir pantalla. No okay. está habilitado para compartir. Perdone, Johnny no me ha regañado. <ríe> Vaya. <Sí. ríe> Vaya, Victoria, ya. Ya entró Bismarck, Carlita. Sí. Hello. No terminamos, pero hasta acá llegamos. Está bien, eh, Victoria, no se preocupe, that's ok. Padre, es un customer, it is important. Because it is the first impression that customer had from a restaurant. 
and good treatment and tax customers. Setting a table because it is part of the image or the place where you will taste. Dress code, it is important to show a good image. ¿Cómo se dice image? Image. 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 Ajá, muy bien. To the claim. Prevention of accidents and safety. It is important that the staff have adequate equipment and to reduce the risk of occupational accidents. Getting to know the menu. It is important to know the menu to know what or to offer customers. Very good, uh, Victoria. No lo, no lo quite. A ver, addressing customers, it is important because it is the first impression. All right, y muchos coincidían en esto, ¿verdad? The customers get from a restaurant and good treatment uh, attracts. Creo que allí era atraer, ¿verdad? Attract, attracts. A mm -hmm. R, hay una R entre la doble T y la A. At, attracts. Es junto la, la, las dos. Ajá. Acá. Es una, una doble T. ¿Me parece? Attracts. All right. Customers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, setting table because it's because it is part, it is, ¿verdad? It is part of the image of the place where you will taste. Dress code, it is important to show a good image to the client, very good. Prevention, it is important that the staff has. Quítale el have y hay que ponerle el has. Adequate equipment and thus reduce the risk of occupational accidents. And getting to know the menu, it is important to know the menu to know what to offer to customers. What to offer to. Mm -hmm. What to okay, offer to customers. Very good, um, Victoria. Very nice. Thank you. Excellent. Nice. All right. Bismar, me decía Carlita que usted tenía eso en su Es cierto. <laughs> please teach you. Thanks. Continuamos nosotros. Yes, please. Es que ah, Juan justo okay. acababa de preguntar sobre ustedes y eh, como no estaba usted, le di el paso a Victoria. <laughs> All right, very nice. Okay. okay. Eh, Carla. Okay, Carlita, you may begin. Okay, teacher. Um, Number one, uh, tracing customer. Um, because the way you can you can hit good service makes a good restaurant. Um, number two, prevention of accidents and safety. Because the safety of the employees and customer is in, it is 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 important to the to the well, the well being of the restaurant. Yes, well being. Well being. Well being. Well being. Well yeah. Well being of the restaurant. Uh, number three, dress cut is important because the waitering is part of the Im image. 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 Image the restaurant. <clears throat> uh, number four, getting to know the menu it is important because offer the customer the best dishes. Um, number five, setting a table is important. Arrange the table for a good catering service. Um, number six. Addressing kitchen personnel. Addressing personal kitchen is important because they are the 
they are the ones to prepare what is on the menu. Yes, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> it's not okay. Can you continue, Bismar, so Carlita can rest? <laughs> okay, number seven. Number eleven. Uh, the the canting wine, uh, because it's important that server the server now type of wine the restaurant has to offer the, the client. Okay. Number eight, uh, following the schedule, schedule. Yes. Uh, because that because the way the waiter now is scheduled to be able to be able to service the customer. Okay. Number nine. Re requesting a chief chain uh, if the service if the server a problem can be shift chain advance to had no to affect the customer service and number 10 about about tips and taxes uh, properly divide their own to each of the staff all right David, are you ready to uh, it is important to arrange. Arrange is la, en la, vamos a la primera. It is important to arrange the doble R. Arrange the table for a good catering service because it is important the server knows, con ese no, the type of wine that the restaurant has to offer the client, okay? If the server has a problem, Uh, después de la coma pongámosle there can be there can be a shift change there there can be no there there nada más there de allí uh -huh. exacto yeah only una y nada más there can be there can be a shift change in advanced so Okay, in advance. Okay, not to affect the customer service because the way the waiter knows his schedule to be able to serve, to be, to be able to serve the customer, serve. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Addressing personnel, oh, I, I yes, al revés. addressing kitchen personnel is important because they are the ones to prepare what is on the menu. On the menu, quítale el E porque si no dice one. All right. Yes. On yes. the menu. What is on? Uh -huh. Yes, very good. It is important because It's important because they offer the customer the they pongale el they they offer they offer the customer the best dishes. It's important because the waitering is part of the image of the restaurant because that way you can give good service. You can give okay give a give a good service and makes a and it and it makes a good restaurant a good service and it makes properly divide their own to each of the staff okay because the safety of employees and customers is important to the well-being of their excellent very good thank you Bismar. thank you carlita thank you teacher excellent very nice all right let me see here teníamos orgito ya con victoria claudita no sé si él pasó Claudia con esa primera actividad. Estaba con Claudia y en Roberto. Solo que Roberto va manejando y Claudia está ocupadita ahorita. All right, veamos. Manuel y Mariano sí pasaron, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. you were the first ones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Linda and Vane también creo que pasaron las dos ayer. ¿Y dónde está Debbie? Aquí está Debbie. Debbie, Debbie and Ever. Se me está escondiendo, niña Debbie. No, voy a tratar de compartir, teacher. No sé cómo se hace. Ya vamos guiando, no se preocupe. 
Uh, yeah, sí. Yes, yes. Very nice, then. Pero si quito okay. mi cámara se pone o como, no sé. Ahorita sí es lo de Ah, okay, okay. 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 I, I start. Okay. And the first one, and the first one is server training manual. We choose uh, address customer and addressing kitchen personnel. Uh, for us. One of the most important things to add in internal and external customer. The meeting what is, is uh, we sell um, ever or idiots. And we consider uh, internal clients or internal customer, even our coworkers to uh, when we provide a service and it is necessary to know the covered way to address them. And the next one, and setting table, getting to know the menu and the canton wine. In these topics, we will focus um, on table servers and the importance to know each ingredients and flavors of the menu. Okay. Okay, David. All yours. Yeah, okay. All yours, yeah, that's good. Uh, text, <laughs> prevention of accident and safety. Uh, we learn the pro, pro, di, pro di, como era, pro, prodigious, pro, no. Procedures. Procedures. <laughs> procedures and policies, policies to avoid accident at work. We'll, um, Seven require requiring a shift change uh, following the schedules about tips and tip tips and taxes taxes. In this model, we we will learn to know administrative pro procedures Excellent. procedures about taxes and tips. Then. Dress code last but not less. We will see the correct use of clothing. Excellent. I like that. Thank you guys. Very good. Déjeme no ir compartiendo. Very good. All right. En este caso, ustedes han hecho como bloques. All right. Que se uh -huh. That's very nice. That's very interesting. All right. So number one and number in this case for you, number one and number two, they they relate to how to address not only the customer but also the employee. All right, and you mentioned that it's important for both. All right. After that, you put in groups three, four, and five, setting table, getting to know the menu and the canteen wine. All right, excellent. So everything is together because it's the same. They are they relate, the topics relate. All right, so that's very good. All right. In these topics, we will focus on table service and the importance. No es and the important, sino que la importancia. Importance, <laughs> importance, con C -E. to know, si la N, to know each ingredient, each ingredient, cada ingrediente, si la S en ingredients, all right, después lo van corrigiendo si gustan, and flavors of the menu, very good. Prevention of accidents and safety, we learn the procedures and policies, all right. Eh, no es police, porque si no es la policía, y no es politi politics, porque si no es la política sino que son policies, políticas internas, no de gobierno, sino que de una empresa. Policies, all right? To avoid accidents at work. Number seven, eight, nine, all right, in this module, we will learn to know administrative procedures about taxes and tips. And dress codes, last but not least, we will see the current use of clothing. Excellent. Yes, very nice. Very good, Debbie. Thank you, Ever. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Okie dokie. All right, very good, guys. It's already 12, I mean 12, 32, 8.30 is up the mediodía. All right, very good. Vamos a, a, voy a, vamos a seguir con el manual ahorita. Vamos a ver tema nuevo y luego regresamos para escuchar las demás, eh, las del ejercicio 2. All right, que nos quedaron también pendientes. Okay, 
So let's go right now, guys. Hoy sí vamos a usar el manual. All right, but we are actually, hold on. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's go to page 21, exercise one and exercise two. Ayer estábamos en la page 21, pero exercise three, porque estábamos viendo training manual. All right, so now we're going to work on number one and number two. It says here, uh, vamos a ver, ¿quién me ayuda? Mariano, can you read? I will be able to. Okay, teacher. I will be able to make suggestions about the relevance. Relevance, yes, relevance. Of topic in a procedures manual. Okay. All right, so I will be able to make suggestions about the relevance, all right? right. All right, of the topics in a procedure manual. All right, number one. Miss Mark, can you read number one, please? Is there? Is there a manual, a manual with procedure in your workplace? Do you think this this manual can be improved? Improved. All right. Improved. Yes, very nice. Thank you. All right, so ya vamos a regresar a esas dos preguntas right now. Let's listen to the conversation and number two. It says, read the, read the following conversation about a staff meeting. Sarah and Walter and Sonia and Renee, we have four people in this conversation. Sara, we need to create the main steps to including the manual to train our, our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chap Yeah, wouldn't it be better if chapter 1 is about how servers should greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. All right? I yeah. Sin haber visto esto, estábamos decidiendo en nuestros grupos what was important and why, all right? Now, we are going to include these expressions of the ones that are in negrita, the ones that are like highlighted. Wouldn't it be better or it would be better, all right? Acuérdense que esos son, es el would is a modal verb that makes suggestions, all right? Ya los vamos a, ya los vamos a recordar ahí. A ver, eh, aquí hay cuatro personas, pero igual vamos a hacerlo nada más con dos. Sara and Walter, all right? Sonia va a ser el mismo Sara y Walter va a ser el mismo René. Okay, so we don't get four people talking. Let's see. Um, Johnny, you are Sara. And let me see here. Doris, can you be Walter, please? We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better, better? Is chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if, if we include the service dress code, the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. All right, thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, vamos a ver, Roberto, ya llegó Roberto. Yes. Hello. Yes. All right, Roberto, can you please be Walter? And Manuel, can you be Sara, please? Okay. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Couldn't, couldn't it? be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu. 
actually it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Excellent, thank you. All right, very good. Let's see here. Vamos a ver. Leti, can you be Sara? And Domingo, can you please be Walter? Okay, teacher. We need to create the main steps to including in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Please, server need to know the correct ways to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better is if we include the server dress code, code and per service in the first chapter. All right, very good. Okay, vamos aquí. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual, manual, like me, manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present. Present the menu. La, la, la pronunciación es present. Present the menu. Wouldn't present it be better? Menu. Yes, if chapter one is about how servers should greet. Greet viene de la palabra greeting, de saludar, saludos, all right? Wouldn't it, um, if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the no, servers. <laughs> if the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. All right. Entonces, cuidado con la palabra propose, present. Si usted dice present, es o presente o el, el presente, ¿verdad? Present es mostrar, enseñar, presentar, present. All right. Uh, greet. Acuérdense que viene de greeting, all right? And that's about it. Appearance, appearance, all right? Ahora, ojo con este. Ahí va una L intercalada, pero no la pronunciamos. Yo no digo would, I say would. It would be better. It wouldn't be better. No hay una L, o sea, está la L escrita, but not pronounced. Es muda, all right? It's silent. Okay. Um, any questions about the vocabulary? Estamos bien with the vocabulary or you need more help? Teacher. A ver, Johnny, después Trini. Dígame, Johnny. In the case of present, uh, depend the context. Sí. When I say, I say present. Yeah. Or present. Como verbo va a ser present. Como nombre o, o sustantivo es uh, present. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah, very good. Thank you. All right. Any, uh, Trini, creo que tenía una pregunta. Chapter. Chapter. Is, this? Ah, chapter es capítulo. Thank you, teacher. Yes, very nice. Thank you. All right, anybody else? No, everything is okay? Okay, perfect, very good. Hi, Linda, welcome. No la vi, no la vi entrar bien. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so let's go now to page 22. And yeah, 22 exercise for us. Vamos, vamos a estar aquí. How to use would be better. All right, ya hemos usado en algún momento el would. Usted solo el would solito. Usted dice, I would go. Pudiera ir o yo fuera, pero tengo mucho trabajo. I would go. All right. Uh, it would be, 
now vamos a combinarlo con esto would be better. All right, and that is to make suggestions. Okay, yo le puedo decir a usted, it would be better if you um, listen to English movies. If it would be better if you study more. All right, now, veamos aquí. ¿Qué me ayuda a leer esto? Esta parte de arriba. Who can read? Me teacher. Yes, thank you. Would better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion. All right, thank you. All right, would be, would be better. Ahí le falta el B. Would be better. All right, is used to express a strong advice or suggestion. All right, no solo es una sugerencia, sino que es una sugerencia como muy fuerte en el sentido de que usted dice es que yo creo que eso es lo mejor. All right, it would be better, okay? How, what is the structure? This is the structure that we're going to follow. Subject plus would be better plus infinitive, all right? Acuérdese que el infinitivo lo vamos a escribir aquí solo para que ustedes se recuerden, okay? El infinitive is to plus verb. All right, ese es el infinitivo. Yo le digo, it would be better to change the menu. It would be better to listen to the teacher. It would be better to ask questions in class. It would be better to rest more days during the week. All right, independientemente what you're going to say, después del would be better, you are going to use an infinitive. Y el infinitivo es to, la partícula to, acuérdense que esa no es preposición, es una partícula, all right, plus the verb. Y como está en infinitivo, obviamente yo no conjugo el verbo. Yo no puedo decir, it would be better to changing the menu. Or it would be better to, to uh, speaking faster, no is to speak faster. ¿Por qué? Because we're using an infinitive, not a gerund. All right? Entonces, el verbo en infinitivo queda en su forma base porque tenemos el tú. ¿Ok? Yes? ¿Vamos bien? ¿Me van siguiendo hasta ahí? Yes? Hola, hola. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Comer, yes. saltar. Excuse me, Johnny. For example, in, the, in Spanish, comer, saltar. Sí. Lugar, in, the, in the infinitive. Okay. Exactamente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the infinitive. It's in conjugación, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. oh. I very good. Entonces, we have to use. Acuérdense la estructura. Subject would be better. Infinitive. Okay. Ah, como este es. Uy, perdón. Este Hay un micrófono abierto si me dicen, ah, Doris, usted es Doris, ¿qué pasó? <ríe> Son mentiras, Doris. All right, very nice. Como este es una expresión modal, ya no se le llama nada más verbo modal porque ya va acompañado de más palabras, entonces se vuelve una expresión modal. Sin embargo, sorry, sin embargo, es y se trata igual como que si solo fuera un verbo modal, would. All right, ¿qué quiero decir con eso? Que si yo digo, Johnny would be better, uh, or he would be better to, I don't know, study in the morning. All right, el would be better no, lo voy a, no le voy a poner ni ese ni nada porque es un verbo modal. Yo no lo cambio. Fíjense acá, in this sentence decimos, it would be better. Estamos usando el it. El would be better no le pasa nada, absolutamente nada, porque es un verbo modal. No lo cambio a tercera persona. Los verbos modales no se cambian a terceras personas jamás. All right. It would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. Mire, este sujeto would be better. Y luego tenemos to let, ese es infinitivo, y luego lo demás, obviamente. 
como lo estamos usando for suggestions, por lo general, por el tipo de uso que le estamos dando, el sujeto va a hacer el it. Entonces dice, sería mejor que los empleados decidan qué procesos cambiar o cuáles procesos cambiar. All right. It would be better. ¿Por qué el it como sujeto? Por el tipo de uso que le vamos a dar a toda la expresión que es de sugerencia. ¿Ok? O de eh, consejo. ¿Ya? Yo le digo, sería bueno, sería mejor que usted practique después de clase. It would be better uh, to study more after class. All right? Now, here we have another example. It says, it would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Ahora, no crea que solo el to let podemos usar. Podemos usar cualquier verbo. Coincidencia que ellos acá cuando hicieron el manual pusieron dos igual. Pero eso no tiene nada que ver. All right. Usted lo usa en infinitivo. Cualquier verbo. Depende obviamente de lo que usted está diciendo. Other expressions to provide suggestions or alternatives. Would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better to? It would be good if todas estas que están acá, oops, estas que están acá, están usando el would. No solo el would be better, we can use it for suggestions. We can use these other alternatives. Yo le digo, would you prefer to study more after class? And you say, yeah, I would prefer to do that. Yo le digo, wouldn't it be better to study more after class? It would be good if you study after class. Cualquiera de estas cuatro al final, they are expressing suggestions. Okay? Yes? It would be, it would be good in este caso if we had a professional to complete the manual. All right? So here we have many other alternatives to use when we want to express suggestion or advice, okay? Do you have any questions? Yes, Johnny. Yes, Johnny. Can I write uh, with wood a negative question? Como la, la segunda que está aquí. Yes. Sí, es como en español cuando decimos no fuera mejor irnos ya. O no sería mejor que no fuéramos. All right, it's the same, Johnny. All right, so only, yeah. only with this modal verb. Um, let's see. Sí, por el tipo de uso que le damos, que es como una sugerencia. All right. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, so we can use this one. Vamos a hacer, antes de ir a los grupos y hacer este ejercicio de abajo, individual, I want you to make one, two. Vamos a hacer three sentences, una con it, toda esta expresión aquí, it would be better, hasta aquí. It would be better es una oración. Number two, would you prefer That's not, y ese ya es como una pregunta de, en, de, dentro de la sugerencia usted pregunta, all right? That's number two. And number three, wouldn't it be better to? Esas tres. Quiero tres oraciones diferentes, no la misma oración, all right? Different sentences, one using. Ahorita les digo otra vez. One using, it would be better. La otra, wouldn't you prefer? And the other one, wouldn't it be better to? Vamos a jugar con esas tres ahorita. Okay? Yes? Puede ser about your job, about your English class, about your life, about your family. It doesn't matter. Acuérdese que son sugerencias o cuando usted da un consejo. Okay? All right. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos. Solo regáleme un minutito a mí y ya regreso.
Are we ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, let me just, I wanna see you guys, hold on. All right, Johnny, tell me your sentences, Johnny. Okay. It would it would be better to do exercise for your disease. Okay. Uh -huh. Would you prefer beans or rice? <laughs> okay. And wouldn't be better to study before the exam? Oh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's that's it, right? Yes, very good. Yes. Thank you. All right. Who else? Uh, volunteers. Me. Yes, Thank you. Uh, number one, it would be better to let my dog with my niece. Okay. Uh, would you prefer to receive English class earlier? Uh, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be better to work only four days during week? <laughs> yes, it would be. Sentence <laughs> <laughs> Doris. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Okay. Who else? More volunteers. My teacher. Thank you, Miss Mar. Okay, number one, it will be better to hit Chinese food than Mexican food. Number two, would you prefer to run in the morning or the afternoon? Oh, okay. Will, will it, it be better to make the sentence? with the irregular bear. <laughs> okay, all right, yes, okay, thank you. Someone else, more volunteers. Hey, teacher. Yes, Daniel, thank you. It would be better to clean the ramp before to park in the plane. Okay. Would you prefer dry the vehicle blue or gray? Uh, wouldn't be better to take the trash and throw it to the container. Oh, all right. Okay, very nice. Let's listen to two more. Two more sent uh, two more people. Me to share. Yes, Mariano, thank you. It will it would be better to pay with credit card the account. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to change the soda for water? Okay. Well, won't be better to pay to play soccer to basketball. Ah, the basketball. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. One more. The last one. Mr. Chair. Okay. It will be better to change the vacation plans for the national situation. Okay. And would you prefer to go to the Martin Garrick concert in tennis shoes? Or boots. Okay. And the last one, wouldn't it be better to stop making so many pranks in class? Wouldn't it be better to what? Excuse me? Would it be better to stop making so many pranks in class? Oh, all right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, um, anybody else? Alguien que quiera eh, share the last sign? Or everybody's fine? Estamos bien con sus sentences? All right. Me, teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Um, I will be better to practice pronunciation in English. Uh, English, English pronunciation. Pronunci yes, English pronunciation, yes. It would be better, yes. Do you have another one, Leti? Do you have another another sentence, Leti? No. No, but I I try to invent. Okay. Uh, I will be better to uh, to study more English. Uh -huh. I would be better. It would be better to study more. All right, more and more English in that case. Very good. All right, very nice. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take attendance right now. 
All right, so it says Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Junio Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Good night, present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Vicky, all right, very nice. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Bismar. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ah, oh, Walter is there. Me congelé yo. Present teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Thank you. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, let's continue then here with your book. Vámonos al, al manual. All right, so we have this here. All right, put the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions, all right? So let's read, I mean, we're gonna work on this. On, uh, you're gonna work together in your groups from one to five, all right? El primero ya está hecho para ustedes, all right? So no, number two, three, four, and five. Les voy a dar un ratito. Luego regresamos, revisamos, hacemos otro ejercicio de would be better y luego las últimas presentaciones que nos quedaron de ayer. So I'm going to make groups right now. Vamos a hacer seven groups. All right, let's go.
Hi, Vicky. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo está el clima por ahí arriba? Llovioso, teacher. Está lloviendo un poquito. Esperas. Sí. Pero, ¿y entonces está fresco? No, está haciendo calor. Ah, no le creo. <risa> calor, <risa> calor para ustedes. Eh, quizás unos... Quiero ver, ya le digo cuánto está ahorita. Ya le digo, pero... Bueno, el celular dice que está 22, pero está caliente, se siente vapor, quizás porque ya es noche, pero... Ok. Pero sí, al mediodía sí se siente horrible, o a las 8 de la mañana que uno va caminando al trabajo ya se siente calor. Ay, no, en serio, mi hija. Ajá, pero, pero supongo que nosotros decimos calor por el hecho de que no estamos acostumbrados así que se esté tan caliente. Así me imagino. Cabal. ¿Qué tal de trabajo? Me está tocando pesado. Sí, hoy el fin de mes siempre me toca pesado, pesado. Sí, pues sí. ¿Y su niño y su niña? Por ahí están, ya, ya, ya le voy a enseñar, ya va a ver. Ahí está una vez. <risa> Y allá está el otro en la cocina con mi esposo. That's nice. Está bien. Very good. Me voy a sacar a los chicos de los grupos, Vicky. Solo deme unos tres minutitos más. Ok, teacher. Would if I ah, in the teacher. Este, ok. Mm, esta es la teacher. Hola. Teacher. Teacher. Hola. Hello. ¿Me oyen? Yes. yes. Teacher, is this, is this the, está en la plataforma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero en la plataforma, la number two, sentence in the question, y la number five, aparecen malas. En ninguna forma da, la da como válida. Si le ponemos it would o wouldn't it be better. Déjeme ver, permítanme. Ahorita le hemos hecho acabar como está la, en el ejemplo, el cuadro de arriba. Uh -huh. ah, permítame, déme un segundito aquí, pues. No lo tengo a la mano. Uy, permítame que no sé cómo buscar eso ahorita. ¿La, la cual me dicen? La tarea 2.11, la, 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 la número 2 y la número 5. Uh -huh. Porque la número 2 sería 
and wouldn't it be better to revise the manual the manual before printing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, así suena bien. Y por casualidad ¿verdad? no está escrito como más, ¿cómo se dice? Más, 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 más espacios cuando lo han digitado. Mm, ahora no. estoy viendo eso. Sí, yo reviso eso también y, y no, no. Ahorita Porque ya. Yo tengo. Wouldn't it be better to revise. No, ya, ya probé. El apóstrofe no. Y tampoco. Bueno. No, yo creo que lo tiene mal el que le escribió. <risa> le puso una coma arriba. Wow. Ya, he, ya he hecho esto, hice al, 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 a la página web y revisar. <risa> Igual, teacher, estábamos viendo el ejemplo. Ajá. En el ejemplo eh, número uno. ¿Y está malo? Eh, como no es no. pregunta, sino una oración. No, o sea, está rara, la verdad, porque would you prefer este... Estábamos viendo nosotros que sujeto. podría llevar... ¿Cuál sería el sujeto ahí, teacher, en la primera? El you. You prefer. Esa cosa está lenta ahorita, pero, 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 pero. veamos, dice, uy, solo que lo veo chiquito. Eh, A ver, ¿en cuál me decía? En el número one. Would you prefer to have a different schedule? Oye, el it, perdón. No, porque está... La un número uno no lleva el it porque está haciendo la pregunta directa, ¿verdad? Would you prefer to have a different... Pero no, no tiene el signo, el question mark. Debería. Debería tenerlo, ¿verdad? Porque es una pregunta. Ah, ¿Le hace falta? La... Sí, hace falta. Ajá. Porque oh. la plataforma sí lo lleva. Sí lo lleva. En la plataforma yes. sí lo lleva. Ya, ahorita Quiero sí. ver la plataforma. Sí. La plataforma sí lo lleva en el question mark. Sí, yes, la plataforma sí lo lleva. Mire que eso está súper lento. Ah, pues es, es error de dedo entonces. Uh -huh. Pongo la imagen de la plataforma. Sí, permítame. Que quiero arreglarlo porque igual lo, lo más probable es que van a tener problemas los demás. Ay, no, qué tremendo esto. Okay. A ver. Déjeme intentar algo, permítanme. Ay, Dios, mañana con esa cosa. <risas> Forever. Está súper lento. No me abre. ¿De qué la viene la plataforma? La primera me sale buena, así como está el ejemplo. Ajá, y el, eh, la segunda. Uh -huh. Ya le quitó el signo. ¿Eh? Le quitó el signo. Ya. Y Natalia. Yes, sí, sí. Yes, sí, sí. Yo le quito el signo y por gusto. <risa> Hasta ahí se pedacitos por pedacitos. Ajá, permítame, voy a regresar. Y que valen las dos. Las dos negativas. Ah, mire, sí. ah, raro porque el, el Wood. Aquí se... la probé con minúscula y la probé con mayúscula también. Por gusto. Ya ve. Uh -huh. Igual yo también con mayúscula y minúscula y nada. 
Ni para atrás ni para adelante. Vaya, igual, voy a tratar de revisarlo porque no me deja cargar ahorita. Está súper lenta, pero me dicen que, que, ¿qué número es? ¿Qué, qué tarea es? Es... Uh, 2.11. Number 2 y yeah. number 5. Number 2 y number 5. Yes, teacher. Y ya le quitaron eh, cosito y todo, ¿verdad? El signo. Yes. Sí. Le pusimos signo, le quitamos signo, le pusimos mayúscula, le pusimos minúscula en la primera. No, nada. Okay. Le, vamos a buscar, le vamos a buscar el error. Espéreme, espéreme. El 2.11 el me dijeron, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Dame aquí. Espéreme. Es esta. Ya me cargo. Bueno, casi. La 2, ah, ya sé por qué es. La 2 y la 5, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, teacher. Mm. Permítame. Wait, guys, hold on. Revisen, denme un saludito. Revisen ahorita. Ok. Uh, Ahora uh, sí me dio una. Una. ¿Cuál? La número dos. Me la dio buena ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. it be better to revise the manual before printing? Esa ya está bien. La cinco uh, le dio la número 5 yo tengo. Wouldn't it be better to say to let manager? O sería to, to let ma, better to let manager decide. Y la. Could be it be. No, no, ya, ya. Permítame ahorita. Eh, revise Ori. ¿La sí? Yes, teacher, ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo le quedó, Domingo? Eh, manager design o let ma, o better design que ma, let manager. No, vean. To let the manager design. The manager design. Uh -huh. To let the manager design. Uh -huh. Word to be it the better. To let manager design. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Es igual como arriba. Sí, como había error. Ok, ya tengo 10. Ya tengo 10, dice. <risa> Very nice, Domingo. All right, nos vamos okay. de regreso porque ya, ya nos tardamos, lo siento. Ok, ya voy bien. You're welcome, thank you. Ok. ¿Cómo, cómo quedó, Ahí. Domingo? ¿Cómo quedó? It be better to let my Alright guys, sorry que me tardé un poquito porque estaba en el grupo de domingo con Dani And Trini, y estábamos resolviendo que había un error en la plataforma eh, para la que era la tarea 2.11, ¿verdad, Domingo? Yes, yes, sure. sure. 2.11, el ejercicio 2 y el ejercicio 5. Si ya lo habían intentado hacer y les salía mala, por más que le ponían y le ponían o le quitaban, hoy sí ya. Ya con Domingo y Daniel y con Trini ya lo solventamos, ¿verdad, chicos? Entonces, en eso sí, estamos. Sí, sí, sí. Ya tengo 10. <ríe> All right.
right. En caso no lo había hecho, pues ya está bien porque ya no va a haber ninguna dificultad en, a menos que haya un error, ¿verdad? Pero lo contrario ya está súper bien. All right, let's see. ¿Cómo nos quedó entonces? Wow. All right, number one decía, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Ahí, de hecho, en el manual, acá le falta también el signo, ¿verdad? The question mark no estaba. Okay. What about number two? ¿Cómo, no, cómo nos quedó number two? It will be better to revise the manual before printing. It will be better? Seguro. It will be then. Guys, golden for printing. Wouldn't it, golden, it be wouldn't, better to recite? Wouldn't it be better? Better? All right. To revise the manual before printing. Yes. All right. What about number three? Um, Linda, what do you have for number three? It will be good if we change the dress code. It will be good if we change the dress code. Esa no es pregunta. All right, very nice. Next one. Um, vamos a ver. Uh, one, a, yes. Perdón, puede repetir la number three que no, no sé. It would, it would be good if we changed the dress code. It, it would be good. It will be good if we. Uh-huh, changed the dress code. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see, Walter, what do you have for number four? And number four, we have it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chess, chef. All right, todos los demás lo tienen igual. Guys, Doris, yes, yes, it sure. would be a good idea to have a training manual for a chef. All right, for chefs. All right, no le pongan el ahí, verdad? Chefs está en plural. Very good. Uh, Doris, number five. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Yes, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? decide. Yes, very nice. Okay, so we have those. Okay, uh, I want to share this with you now. Hold on, guys. It's this one. Veamos esto. It would be better, lo que estamos viendo ahorita. All right, would be better, but now you have this ones. Yo he puesto unas oraciones, en unas son preguntas, en otras son, bueno, creo que solo una tenemos ahí de pregunta. All right, y, las de, y la idea es que usted me la termine. All right, termine esa oración. Number one, they said, that's why it would be better to. No sé, usted va a terminar esa oración. I think it would be better to. O la otra, it would be better to stay. Y usted la continúa. Do you think it would be better for the environment to? And you finish the sentence. It would be better for everybody to. It would be better if it wasn't. And the last one, I was hoping it would be better. Lo que, usted, lo que quiero que vean antes de empezar sus sentences o terminar sus sentences es que podemos usar would be better en diferentes escenarios o en diferentes situaciones o de diferente forma. Por ejemplo, cuando ustedes estamos hablando y le digo, por eso sería mejor que... La primera, ¿verdad? That's why it would be better to. O la otra que sería, yo creo, I think it would be better to. 
another one. Solo it would be better to stay en este caso. O la otra, do you think it would be better? Y continuo. All right, so here we have different ways to, uh, to use this expression, all right? To suggest or to give advice. La voy a dejar ahí, all right? Lo vamos a trabajar individual because of the time. Y cada quien va a hacer sus propias sentences, okay? Usted termine esas oraciones ahí.
Are we finished? No. Okay. No. All right, how many more sentences are you still missing? Six. All right, so you're, you are on the last one, Johnny? Yes. All right, very good. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito. Y en unos dos minutitos empezamos a compartir ya las oraciones. Teacher, I have a question about the mid term. About which one? Uh, the mid term exam. Uh -huh. 
is uh, will be gone on Friday, yes? Yes, this week, uh-huh. This week, this week, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Someone finished already? Yeah. Okay, Johnny is finished. Daniel, you're finished too? Yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Leti, um, Carla, Victoria, Manuel, finished? Doris, yes? Only five, teacher. Only five, all right, that's fair, that's, fair. that's good. Only six, teacher. That's fine. All right, let's see. The last que tiene, Johnny. Um, Ahorita, permítame. Usted escoja tres, Johnny. A ver, usted me dice en clase si quiere decirme. Cuénteme. I think, I think it would be better to wake up early. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, it would be better, it would be better to stay in our house this night. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it would be better for everybody to rest 10 minutes. Oh, nice. Okay, very good. Very good sentences, Johnny. Thank you. All right, Johnny, go alguien de sus compañeritos y compañeritas. Ajá. Veamos. Daniel. Ajá, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think it, it will be better to keep the house. Okay. Um, do you think it will be better for the environment to separate the, the trash? Ah, okay. It will be better for everybody to go to the beach this summer. Okay, very good, Daniel, thank you. Daniel, choose someone else, please. Let me see, sorry. Okay, uh, that's why it would be better to eat healthier, to have more force. Uh, more strength, like fuerza. Uh -huh. Force or strange? Strength. 
Okay, strange. Eh, con Z, es... como que fuera Z, Doris. Strength. Strange. Mm. Strong, no, ¿verdad? No, strong. Porque strong es fuerte, ¿verdad? Strange. Ok. Uh, again, that's why it would be better to eat healthier. You have more strange. And do you think it would be better for the environment to ride bike than drive a car? Okay. And it would be better to stay at home in these holidays. Oh, okay. On these holidays. All right. Very good. Thank On you. these holidays. Very good. Doris, can you choose someone else, please? And Mariana. <laughs> okay. That's why it will be better to work every day. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think it will be better for the better environment to recycle the plastic? Oh, very good. Yes. It will be better for every everybody to sleep early. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mariano. Choose someone else, Mariano, please. Uh, Ever. All right, Ever. Present. Okay, the first one. That's why it will be better to go to the supermarket. Or oh, that's why it will be better to go to the supermarket. The second one, I think it would be better to decide no, dedicate more time to learn English during the day. Next, it would be better to stay with the best option. Okay. And do you think it would be better for the environment to change sometimes in the place? Or no, something, something, but no, sorry. Okay. And it will be better for everybody to let them make a lot of questions. Okay. And it would be better if it wasn't so scandalous. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. And I was, I was hoping it would be better to write than just sing. Okay, very nice. All right, Ever, choose one more. Let's see, one more. Todavía tenemos un par de minutitos. Uh -huh. Someone else, Ever. One more. No, one or more. One number. Okay. I can see, I can see. No. Okay, Carlos. All right. Carlos Mangal. Carlitos, do you have your sentences? No, I guess Carlos is not around. Bonnie, let's let's listen to your sentences, Bonnie. Choose three. Okay. That's why it would be better to do your homework early instead of a last minute. Oh, nice. Um, I think it would be better to hire a new employee for administrative area. Oh, nice. Administrative area. Uh -huh. Administrative area. And do you think it would be better for environment to use the bicycle more than a car? Okay. All right. Very good, Bonnie. Choose someone. Thank you, Bonnie. Choose someone else from your classmates. Debbie. All right, Debbie. That's why it would be better to laugh than cry. <laughs> to laugh than cry. Okay. And it will be better to stay alone than in a bank bad company. 
All right, very nice. What would you confuse? And um, it would be better if it would be better if it wasn't poor. <laughs> okay. All right, very nice. Okay. All right, let's listen to one more. All right. Um so who wants to tell me the last sentences before we take the attendance? Volunteers? Me. All right, very good. Yeah. Uh, that's why it would be better to get used to get organized when archiving files in order to find them easily. Okay. Um, it would better it would be better to stay at home earliest as possible due the due the dangerous situation in our country. Okay. And do you think and do you think it would be better for the environment to implement to implement a plan? to recycle materials instead creating new ones like use more glass oh okay all right i like that sentence yes we're thinking about the environment we're environmentally friendly very nice thank you guys we're going to continue checking some of your sentences tomorrow igual mañana seguimos con lo que quedamos pendiente pero quería terminar con eso de it would be better all right y vuelvo y repito si habían hecho la tarea 2.11 Ejercicio 2 y la 5, le salía mal, ya está bien para que la puedan hacer sin ningún problema. All right. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Very good. Um, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carlita. All right. Leticia Guadalupe García Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gab Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Y thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining another class uh, with me tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. Igual, eh, seguir Eh, adelantando en la plataforma. All right, very good. Hoy se me queda Carlita, pero creo que Carlita ya se salió. Bueno, igual. All right, guys, los dejo. Pasen buenas noches. Bye now. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.